Sagittarius singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. And you have the Strength card as your overall energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. But it looks like, Sagittarius, maybe you had to have the strength to overcome something. Maybe you had to have the strength to turn your back on a three-party situation in the past. Maybe in the past, Sagittarius, you were dealing with someone that was a bit of a chameleon, someone that was wearing a false mask in this relationship. Someone that really wasn't really committed to the relationship at all because this person was juggling. There was a three-party relationship that was going on in the past with this person. And this is someone that you're not speaking to at this current moment. I'm feeling as though this could have been someone that was emotionally distant from you, you know, at some time during the relationship towards the end. You know what? It really doesn't even have to be towards the end. Just in general, someone that could have been a bit of a tyrant, someone that could have um, been emotionally abusive to you as well. Someone that could have been, um, you know, a, a bit, um, maybe chemically dependent to alcohol or drugs, possibly. I'm seeing that there was a lot of conflict in your relationship. And this ultimately brought things to an end. You had this on again, off again situation with this person from the past. Okay, but I'm feeling like even though the two of you have broken up, this is still someone that you think about. This is someone that withheld information from you. This is someone that you got to the point in the relationship where you didn't really expect much out of it anymore from the day from day to day. You just felt overall disappointed. Some of you could have been dealing with an Aries. I've got the Emperor in reverse. I've got the Death card for Scorpio. The Strength card as the overall energy for the reading, Leo. I'm seeing Gemini, Pisces. I'm seeing that you left a player out in the cold. Or the player could have left you out in the cold because this could go vice versa. Maybe you left this relationship because you felt like you were wasting your time and you were dealing with a player. So you stopped investing in this relationship because maybe you felt that it was going nowhere and someone was not making a head over heart decision about what it is that they wanted to do. Yeah, someone was bringing obscurity, mysticism, secrets to the relationship. There was some gossip going on. Maybe you found out about this person's infidelity through gossip or mutual friends or spying. Yeah, there's definitely some vanity this is someone that was toying with your emotions, someone that had no regard for how they treated you, someone that was reckless with your heart. There were these feelings of complacency. Maybe this was a long-standing relationship that you were in and you were unhappy for quite some time. You felt stifled in this relationship and I feel like you wanted something more. But, you know, as time went on, you grew to realize that, you know, like I said it before, you, you didn't really expect much out of this relationship from the day to day. There was a lot of passion in the beginning, but over time it was like the two of you were living as roommates. 
Maybe you felt like you contributed more to the relationship than your partner did. Or maybe you felt like they were not willing to take responsibility for their part in the relationship. Their part in tearing the relationship down. Feeling like there were this there was this internal conflict going on with you as well. Because you were unhappy. And I believe that you wanted to end it. But it took a while. I'm seeing that you let go of this relationship because there was a third party involved. And maybe your partner liked attention, attention from others. Maybe this person liked to have people fighting over them. Or maybe this is you wanting attention from your partner, but this could have been someone that was a bit of a workaholic and use work as an excuse not to give you the time and attention that you deserved. I feel like you didn't want to break from this relationship. But you felt like you had to. Feeling like the time is, is coming for the confusion to be cut through. It's going to be time for truth. Mental clarity is coming in your situation. Because this was the past and you've possibly moved on from the past you've healed for the most part from this pain this feeling of betrayal and I feel like you're no longer in limbo you've made a decision to walk away from the trickery to turn your back on the situation that became unhappy and maybe you feel like your partner was immature or vice versa or maybe someone felt like the other one was naive. And I'm seeing that you have something new coming in for you. You have a new opportunity with love. So you may get some type of text or email from someone from the past unexpectedly. You know, now that there's been a breakup. And that you were able to release yourself from something that had you feeling stuck. You have someone from the past who wants to open up and have this heart-to-heart -heart and truthful conversation with you. Maybe you had misunderstandings with this person in the past. And there's still some confusion. There's still some cloudiness. Maybe there were some misunderstandings. Someone is ready to come back to clear that up with you. Someone wants to work this out. They want to talk it out. Someone still has these romantic feelings for you. And this could be a soulmate. This is someone that wants longevity with you. This could even be a twin flame for some of you. Someone wants to bring the playfulness and passion back to the relationship. And that's what this renewal is about. Someone's had some enlightenment or they want to give you enlightenment by telling you the truth and revealing to you how they really feel. Because I feel like someone is going to come out and confess how they feel. This is someone that has a lot of guilt and remorse for how they treated you in the past. And here comes the truth, a healthy dose of it. And it looks like this is going to be something positive because... This is someone that makes you happy. It's like a wish fulfilled. It's something that you've been praying for and hoping for. And I'm saying that you're you're going to be willing to take a leap of faith into the situation, some of you. And this is indeed someone from the past, someone that you spent a lot of lost sleep over. Could be a cancer for some of you. This is someone that took forever to make a move. There was some depression, right, in the past, but I'm seeing someone's coming back for a second chance. They want to give this a second chance. This is someone that was, you know, a bit deceptive and cunning in the past. Someone that brought trickery to the table. 
says Virgo for some of you. You felt these feelings of rejection. But yeah, someone is definitely coming to you and they want to have this reunion. They feel like this is a blessed soulmate union and they want to have this even exchange of give and take with you. Yeah, so I'm seeing an offer coming your way. You're going to get contact from someone from the past who wants to work to rectify this with you. So I'm saying that someone was not able to make a decision in the past. Someone is now making a final decision. Yeah, someone definitely had a reality check. And that could have been what this Ace of Swords was about. The truth. Someone may have realized the truth themselves. You know, that you were the one. You were the one that got away. You were the soulmate that they let go of. And so they're hoping to wipe the slate clean with you. And start over. This could be your child's father, child's mother for some of you. Release jealousy this week, Sagittarius singles. This could be someone jealous against you or you jealous against someone. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire you rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. So just food for thought this week, Sagittarius Singles. Let's take a look what else is here for you. Be a conscious consumer this week. You have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer... You choose to invest in fair trade and organic foods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Okay, one more Sagittarius. Oh, we already had one that turned around. Block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So, um, so it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment. Trying to make sure that you can see it and focus. There we go. By turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. And at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, partnership. You have new partnerships coming in. Whether this is in um, work or in relationships or both. Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. You're receiving help from heaven and a person who brings needed skills and resources. All right. Sagittarius. Let's see what these advice cards are telling us. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Sagittarius singles going back into the situation with someone from the past? Opportunity. Okay, so opportunity for partnerships. Again, whether this is financial or otherwise, especially in love. What other information do you have, Holy Spirit, for Sagittarius singles? In the near future. Wait. So I'm seeing that there's going to be. And ask your angels. There's going to be some hesitation. Everything is going to happen according to divine timing. Let's see what this wait is about. Your situation is going to require a little patience. Your angels are not saying no, but they are saying not yet. Sometimes heaven needs a little extra time to take to make all the pieces fall perfectly into place. What you are asking for may have an effect on the lives of others. When that occurs, it can take additional preparation to make sure that everyone's needs are seen to. Be patient so that all who are involved can have the experience they're meant to have. Divine timing is in order here. Let's see, in the near future. Let's 
what you are asking about will occur very soon. So you won't have to wait much longer. Stay optimistic and continue on your current path. Be open to receiving. Now let's take a look at opportunity. Personal growth and expansion is on the horizon for you. This opportunity may bring with it inspiration and insight, or it could be the chance you've been waiting for to take action on ideas you already have. You may be seeking to manifest the chance to create things in your career, buy or sell a home, or bring romance into your life. Whatever your desires, your angels are about to open up a door of possibilities for you. Step right through. Keep in mind, Sagittarius Singles, this week it's about divine timing. We're in a retrograde. So things are aligning for our greatest good if we allow this to take place. This will happen in the near future and the opportunity will present itself for this renewal that is taking place in your life. All right, Sagittarius Singles, thank you so much. This concludes your reading. And if you're interested in booking a reading, go ahead and refer to the information in the description box below. And, of course, you can get in contact with me on Instant Go. Um, now, with Instant Go, I have only the text option open, not the phone chat, but just the text option. So if you text me your question, I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. And um, readings are available. You can book them on my website. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And for those of you who are new... I invite you to hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit this subscribe button, hit the bell so that you'll get all the notifications when I upload. And if this did resonate with you, go ahead and feel free to leave me a comment and uh, hit the like button below. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.